Okay, one third to the fifth power. How do we do that? Probably the best way to think about this is to think about it as one to the fifth power like this and then have that over three to the fifth power like this. It's a lot easier to work with. And if you think about it, one third to the fifth, we've just multiplying one third five times here. Something like this. So we have one times one times one times one times one. That's one to the fifth. On the bottom, we have three times three times three times three times three. That's three to the fifth. So one to the fifth, that would be just one. And three times three is nine times three is 27 times three is 81 times three is 243. So one third to the fifth, that equals the fraction one over 243. And it makes sense. This is pretty small compared to one third. That's because we're taking a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. We should get a small number. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.